how do you deal with when you get negative feedback right let me show you something in this video i'm going to show you something right here i sold a panasonic cordless phone right here we go it's great okay paid two quid for it sold it for 20 pound i think yeah am i right yeah 20 something okay right now look at this negative yeah okay and the negative was the button was too small okay she complained the button was small no problem right but as you can see if i go to my feedback right right no negative how did the hell i get rid of that how did i get rid of this negative right so what did i do I rang the I rang, I I went I I picked up the blower and rang eBay up right and obviously when you ring eBay down goes to Philippines right most of the call they go to Philippines now try talking to, to those people in Philippines you're not gonna go anywhere because half of the time they don't understand right so I got really pissed off with those guys in Philippines, right? And so this stupid red negative stayed for me for a few days, right? Because the idiots up in Philippines told me, oh, there's nothing they can do. They cannot remove the uh, uh, negative, right? Okay, no problem. So I said, okay. Then a couple of days later, I phoned them up again. I said, look, I want to talk to somebody, not in Philippines. Send me somebody in Ireland, as in Southern Ireland, where eBay has another big place in Southern Ireland. Right. So they put me through Southern Ireland. Yeah, fantastic. I get this chap on the, uh, on the other end, I said, look, this is the situation. This is the problem. I got a negative for heaviness. And the first thing he said, look, this is nothing to do with you, right? It's the manufacturer's problem, not your problem. The manufacturer made this damn phone keypad so small. It's the manufacturer's, nothing to do with you, right? And you're not going to believe it. He took it out. He said, you just removed the negative. All those idiots up in Philippines couldn't do bugger all. They were explaining to me, giving me all this shade. with useless crap they were talk talking about. So next time you have any problem with eBay center in Philippines, or you, you can't get your, you know, you can't get your point across to these people out there. The best thing to do, ask them to transfer to Ireland, somewhere else, who has a better gasp of English language, and then your problem gets solved. Okay, so this is a very important information whenever you, I know it's always difficult, I know we always go and bang on about the call centers in India and other places, but you know, you always get frustrated when you call in the Philippines. You know, they try to make you understand. They they know what they're talking about. Well, half of the time, they don't know what the bloody they're fucking talking about. Mm -hmm. So make sure you ask them to send you back to Ireland. And that's where they get problem solved. Okay? So I hope this video helped you out. Thank you so much for watching all of my videos. And other bits and pieces make sure you subscribe click like button because I am not getting enough likes or enough comment on those stupid videos I think I, I probably have to start using more more swearing words into the video so you get to pump you guys and girls up so you can write comments 